research and discovery. Futurists. Market day in Trento, northern Italy. It's a busy morning for Maruccia, Aldo and Silvana. Their neighbours, friends and like many here, well over 70. After visiting the market stalls, they head for the city's social centre for the elderly. Today, they're testing a new high-tech gadget called Alice. It enables them to play a computerised version of Briscola, a popular Italian card game. I like it. It keeps my brain working. It opens my brain up. And even though I'm quite old, I'm able to learn many things. The prototype was installed here to test how it would go down with senior citizens unfamiliar with computers. IT scientists help them to use the system and social workers evaluate their reactions. This experience shows one more time that the so-called fear that elderly people have towards new technologies is just a prejudice. Reality is different. Reality says that if technology is developed as an interactive game, it becomes something interesting and funny for old people, and they fully understand how useful it can be for them. Alice is just one of many prototypes being developed in a European research project called Nekarati. It aims to improve the quality of life of older people, primarily in the home, using IT tools. In the Western world, and particularly in Europe, and specifically in Italy, the elderly population is growing fast. And this growth is putting our welfare states under pressure. One of the ways we have to face this huge problem is to improve the quality of life for people at home. Focus groups help to identify the needs of the elderly. The findings were conclusive. They want to enjoy life while feeling secure, integrated and cared for. Researchers are now trying to provide solutions to those needs. Many people live alone. Technology could help. New technologies can be very useful. They can help me to fill some gaps, things I cannot do by myself. For instance, when I cannot move from home, or they can let me know if I've forgotten something. For Iola's specific needs, researchers have developed this intelligent wall. Linked to sensors and cameras around the house, the computer has been programmed to remind the user of a forgotten appointment or even to alert them to possible accidents. Imagine an old person's about to leave home. He's forgotten he was cooking some pasta. The cooker's left on, the water is boiling. The system sends this message, you've forgotten to turn off the gas. The system has identified a risky situation and has reacted to it. I have just started using these new technologies. These, how do they call them? These prototypes have been my very first experience of using high-tech. It's fun, but I usually need the help of my grandchild. Silvana needs easy-to-use gadgets. This tactile screen provides a friendly interface. It works with infrared technology and can be installed anywhere in the house. While sitting at the kitchen table, the person can, without moving, read the paper, enlarge its pages so they can read more easily, or pass it to somebody else. As the system involves videos and pictures, they can, at the same time, check who's rung on the video phone, so they can control the whole house without moving from the kitchen. How many people live alone at home? Many. We are many. And we spend lots of hours alone, isolated, without being in contact with anybody. To ease Aldo's feeling of isolation, researchers are working on another prototype. It's a mobile computer table with a graphic system. The user can make phone calls without dialing numbers or send and receive personal messages. You can easily open a letter and write inside, Pi, how are you? You close the letter and you send it off to another person.
If I fall in a certain way, I can get up again. But if I fall in a different way, even if I don't get hurt, I can't get up without help. Researchers are also working on 3D intelligent cameras. Thanks to complex algorithm calculations, the cameras know when an elderly person has fallen and can automatically activate an alarm system. We know that around 30% of elderly people suffer a fall at least once a year. So it's important to know if somebody who lives alone has fallen over and exactly where he is. We've developed a system with 3D cameras distributed in an apartment. The system is linked to an intelligence center that receives, reads and coordinates the information coming from the pictures. If the system reveals a fall, it contacts a relative or a call center so the person can be helped as soon as possible. We're now in Alicante in Spain where Angel, Pepe, Consuelo and Pepita live. They're all in their late 60s or 70s and in excellent health. Spain faces the same ageing problem as Italy and research is providing solutions here too. The friends have come today to test a brand new prototype games table specially designed to be fun while exercising their memories and psychomotor skills. The games are easy. You need to match different things, geometrical figures, numbers, animals. You need to use your brain to remember where they all come from. It stretches our physical and mental reflexes. It helps us use them to not let them deteriorate. The table is the finished product of another European research project aimed at providing elderly people with new tools to socialize to promote social inclusion, to have fun and to exercise their memory and psychomotor skills on a daily basis. This games table fulfills three main objectives. The first one is to bring the newest available technologies to elderly people through an easy-to-use format that breaks down the barriers. They usually meet with new technologies. The second is to provide them with a tool to socialize, to keep in contact with other people, to feel supported by other people. And the third objective is to provide them with a series of games specially designed to stimulate their cognitive skills. Diseñados especialmente para estimular sus capacidades cognitivas. Psychologists, social workers and computer scientists worked together to design the table and its software. The idea was also to highlight possible loss of memory in the user. We don't want this games table to replace the tools used by therapists to identify health problems in the users. But since it's able to record different data from the players, when they make mistakes or when they get it right, for instance, it acts as an alert system. It can tell the therapist that some of the user's skills and capabilities aren't working properly. 